20s, this video comes out of lesson 1.2 on arithmetic series. We talked about how a series is just a sum, and we have two formulas on the formula sheet that allow us to find the sum of an arithmetic series, either that one or that one. So this example is meant to show you uh, the difference between two types of questions. So if I'm asked to find S8 of this series, 40 plus 35 plus 30, first of all, I can see that it's arithmetic, just mental math tells me this thing is going down five every time, so that's a common difference of negative five. Um, I definitely don't have the eighth term, so unless I choose to find the eighth term first, I don't have Tn, so I'm going to right away use this formula right here. And if I substitute in the pieces, the ingredients, I'm finding S8, so N is eight, Term one is just 40, and the common difference, as I said a moment ago, is negative five. So once you get to there, you're just carrying out order of operations, being careful to do brackets and so on before you start putting things together. I've got 80 minus 35 in those upper brackets, so I end up with a sum of 180. Now, I could have found the first eight terms. Eight isn't that huge a number. I could have just said, oh, well, it's 40 plus 35 plus 30 plus 25 plus 20 plus 15 plus 10 plus 5, and I should get the exact same answer of 180. But as you can imagine, if somebody asked you to find the sum of 180 terms instead of eight terms, adding them all up by hand wouldn't be a reasonable way to solve it. Now, the second example I want to show you is finding the sum of this arithmetic series. Now this time, I don't actually know how many terms there is. That's a bit of a disadvantage, but I do know what the last term I'm adding is. I'm adding all these terms up until I get up to the number 37. So the first thing I have to do is figure out how many terms there are, because no matter which of the two sum formulas I want to use, there's an n in there. So what I go back to is something we learned in 1.1, just a general term. I say, okay, well, if 37 is the last term, the first term is 5 and the common difference is 2, how many terms is this? So subtract 5 from both sides, divide by 2 on both sides, add 1 to both sides, and I figure out, oh, there were 17 terms. I would have had to list out 17 terms to, do, to get up to 35. But now, what that means, I can use this formula, the simpler formula, quite easily. All I have to do is say, okay, well, I'm finding S17, so N is 17. The first term was 5, the last term was 37, as given right in the question, and I take that and divide by 2. So, 5 plus 37 is 42. 17 times 42 divided by 2 gives me 357. A far more efficient way than if I had actually tried to add up all 17 of those terms even with relatively small numbers as we have here. Imagine if you were asked to find the sum of a thousand terms or the numbers were awful decimals and so on. There's lots of reasons why using a formula is quite a bit more effective than actually adding things up by hand.